I'm just going to show you how to make a dubstep wobble really nice and easy. You'll be able to do this yourself with no problems at all. It's not technical, it's just making sure that everything's clicked in the right place. I'm using Ableton to make the tracking. I've loaded up a track already, but what I'm going to show you is just the very basics. This is obviously a, a MIDI file, and it's just got one long note, but so far I'm just going to mute everything so you can hear there's absolutely nothing there. I'm just going to put in Ableton, sorry, Albino 3, which is the VST that I'm going to show you how to make the wobbles in. Um, so here it is in the corner there, and I'm just going to drag and drop it over it like that. So if you've never seen this before, don't worry about everything here. Um, the thing I'm going to show you is just nice and simple. So this is where you get your instruments from. Um, they're all preset, loaded up instruments, various different types. We're going to make a bass. Um, and I'm just going to choose for the sake of anything deep basses so there we go I'll just use the very first thing that comes up okay I'm going to turn sustain up as well just to make it uh, a continuous note so it doesn't sort of dissipate as the note goes on um, right the first thing that we're going to look at is this the mod matrix okay it's if you click on that little thing there which just says mix it'll bring up here so what I'm going to get you to do is, it's already filled in with some things, I'm just going to get you to, to go to here where it's just, just like a little um, couple of lines, we're just going to turn everything to blank, basically turning everything off. Um, it basically means we're going to start with a blank canvas. Basically all you do with all this is just make different effects, so you can kind of like tailor make your own sound. So so far I'm just going to play what that note does now. It's not going to do anything special but this is what it sounds like without any effects on it at all. So it's just a deep bass, that's all it is. We can make it deeper with these things here. Um, there's nothing assigned to them apart from this one bit here. But if you go and click on 3 and 4 um, we can get like sine waves. And sine waves are basically how you can make it get subbier you know that nice punchy sub feeling that you get so it's a, it's a note you don't necessarily hear as such but you feel it more um, so it's a little bit deeper now you can make it go even deeper by bringing the um, uh, the uh, octaves down so so I've made it deeper this one I'll turn this sine wave on to it's even deeper so that's nice we'll just start with a nice simple sine wave deep bass okay so it didn't wobble at all it's just that and it'll do that forever until it ends there okay right so to make it wobble what we need to do see where we turned everything off to a blank we're gonna add a couple of things in here to make it wobble basically first thing we're gonna do there's all these effects all these different things they all mean something but what we're gonna do first we're just gonna go down to here where it says LFO 1 I'm gonna highlight that so now it's in there and um, that is gonna to correspond to what's next to it and we're gonna open this up there's a few different other things here but the one we're gonna choose is where it says fill one then there's gonna be a, a drop down menu we're gonna to go to fill one cutoff okay there's a lot of numbers in here basically I'll show you what that does rather than explain it but essentially it just accentuates the wobble more so that's what it does at the moment if we turn all the numbers up to full it's a little bit more accentuated okay so you want to make the timing of the wobble go different otherwise it won't be very interesting so at the moment it's just on a generic setting if you click on this bit here where it says L1 that's where we've got the LFO1 set so don't worry about what it means just just do it just click on there L1 brings up a new little menu and this is where the wobbles are happening so this where it says sync next to it it just says off but if we click on it you get to choose out of all these different settings and they're essentially the different timing of a wobble we'll go to one stroke four here to start with and I'll show you what it does so it's just doing that and it'll do that forever if we choose one over eight for example it'll go twice as fast Okay, and if we go to one stroke 16, it's going to go even faster. So it's not the most banging thing I've ever heard in my life, but as you can see, you can make the wobble sound different. There's all these different effects here underneath where it says wave. Um, they're basically um, wave shapes, wave forms. It's, you know, you don't need to really know what they are, just know what they do. So 
That's one. I'll click on this one. Click on this one. And so on and so on. The most common ones I'd say would be the first three. Um, they're the ones that you'll hear most frequently. You'll recognize the sound when you start to play with it. Okay, so for instance, now we've got that, we've set it to that. One thing I'd always advise you do is there's these two little buttons here. One says mono and it's always always selected. Just leave it selected. Just click that where it says RET, R-E-T. And it just makes life easier for you because, for instance, if I'm just going to, um, I want it to do that bit for that amount of time. So we've got four bars and then I'm going to have a little stop break and then, and then it comes in four bars away. If that little R-E-T is not assigned, um, when it comes back in, it's not going to be in exactly the same time signature as that. It'll still be 1 over 4, but the beginning of it will be different, and so your track will, it will it's just confusing really. Just, just make sure it's always highlighted, and that way you, you can anticipate exactly how it's going to sound. So, to put it into context, I'm just going to unmute the rest of my track, and uh, now we can hear what it sounds like um, with the wobbles in it. Again, like I say, not the most banging thing I've ever heard in my life. Most dubstep, um, obviously, um, is all about the different wobbles at different times, different speeds, and different sounds. So, you just make a new track, basically. I'm just going to uh, duplicate this track here. We, now we've got two of them. So, for example, I'm going to put that here, get rid of that, and I'm going to set this one to 1 over 8. And remember, you know, I'm not Mozart. This is just going to sound pretty crap. But it's just going to show you for an example. And so on and so on. So basically, once you've got the hang of that, um, you can really just start to play with things and you'll end up making some dubstep really. This is how dubstep's basically made. I mean, people make a lot more complex things than I'm capable of doing but just to show you beginners how to get started this is all you need to learn um, most VSTs revolve around the same kind of settings as all of these but I always thought myself that Albino Free is one of the easiest to use and it's just a good way to start and you, you'll be up and away making your own dub dubstep before you know it um, Alright, well, I hope that taught you something, and um, I might make some more of these tutorials if anyone wants me to.